good evening and welcome to another IADC update. This evening we are again on site here at the Argyle International Airport and we are at the site of the Yambu River crossing. That's where we are working on the spanning of the river. Now I know last week we showed you some of the work being done here but today we have come here with the team that's responsible for the spanning of this river so that you can get some more details as to what is really taking place here at this site. Now I have with me leading the team who we call the professor Leonardo Perez, he's right here to my right. We have a young engineer Osric Brong to my far right and next to me Mr. Aluko Dublin, a face you are now very familiar with and he will also assist us with some translation today. These are the folks who are responsible to have the river spanning completed and they are also responsible for the development of the internal road network here at the Argyle International Airport. So gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the IADC update. Good evening, um, Jennifer. And uh, you remember that in first month of this year we talking about the the river. Yes, we were here talking about the river with the plans and everything, seeing what will be done and when it will get started. It has now actually started and the work is advancing. So I just wanted to bring us up to date as to where we are right now with the project. Okay, uh, as a about two and a half months ago, we started working on this project. Is a large amount of excavation we have to do in this area, approximately 75,000 cubic meters. And, and as you can see from the video footage, a lot of the excavation works we have to do is um, stones, a lot of big stones. Ya en estos momentos tenemos eh, esta obra está al 52%. At present, we are at 52% in the progress. O sea, tenemos unos 52 mil metros cúbicos excavados ya. That is to say we have excavated thus far about 52,000 cubic meters of material. Y estamos estimando que el próximo mes nosotros podemos terminar esta excavación con la incorporación de otra excavadora hidráulica en estos trabajos del, del Yambu River. So our aim, to our aim is to complete the excavations in this area within the next month because we now um, acquired an additional excavator to help us. Se ha trabajado muy duro en esta área porque pues en este mismo lugar por donde estamos cruza la pista, la pista de despegue y aterrizaje del aeropuerto. We have been very, working very hard in this area because besides where we, where, where, we, where we are here now is where the one will be crossing. Y nos queda un, un gran trabajo por hacer eh, relacionado con los tubos de arco que tenemos que colocar en este lugar. And uh, after that we have to do um, a lot of work, which is the installation of the, the armco, the structure, metallic stru um, armco structure. Es una obra grande. Eh, son cinco hileras de tubo, que cada una tiene 315 metros de largo. It's, um, it's a, a, a big project. We have five rows of, 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 of pipes, and each one is 205 meters long. Y, pero estamos en tiempo para facilitar, después de colocados estos, estos tubos, proceder entonces al terraplén de la pista y a la pavimentación de la pista. And, uh, but this has to be done, and once we complete this, then we we'll, um, proceed to doing well, the other filling of the other areas, the green areas and the pavement works. I want to share an interesting fact with you, so that uh, everybody can know that this is one of the few airports in the world where we actually have a river running under. Porque eh, siempre, lo, siempre los constructores de aeropuertos eh, tratamos de, de, de no hacer este tipo de obra porque realmente es muy grande, pero aquí no existió otra solución que cruzar este río por debajo de la pista. As airport constructors, we normally try to avoid doing this type of big hydraulic works. But in, in, in this case, we had no option but to cross the, the river under the runway. Es una obra muy bonita. Ustedes recuerdan que eh, este suministro se recibió de México. Los tubos como tal se recibieron de México. Son metálicos y calculados para soportar el peso de un Boeing 747. Es un beautiful project. As it relates to the drain structure, you remember that we received all the material from Mexico, the metallic um, sections to, to build the culvert. 
and they were designed to support a Boeing 747 aircraft. Everything was taken into account, the closeness to the sea, the design weights and everything and there is an estimated um, extended um, useful life of them of an extra 30 years. Uh, that is not that is not to say that it the the structure would only last for 30 years. You know, after 30 years when we require some maintenance and stuff like that. You would give continuous maintenance, but you expect it to reach to that point without any major maintenance being done. And for that reason also the IDC have decided to to give the, the, the sections an additional production with some anti-corrosive paint. This paint we already have in our possession and it will be applied prior to installation of the, of the pipes. Years ago, and the older folks might know this, but the river used to actually run in this area. Because these stones that we're, we're finding here in the area now, they're characteristic of what we'll find in the riverbed. Which for us is very good, because it um, increases the supporting capacity of the area and gives the, the, the project itself a longer life. Okay. But does it make his work more difficult, having these stones to work with? Maybe, but it, it is worth it. We have in this area working some excavators and some private trucks that were hired by the IDC. And they're doing a very wonder, a wonderful job and we want to take the opportunity now to congratulate them on the job that they've been doing, the operators and the, the truck operators. Okay, is the work on schedule? Sí, estamos cumpliendo con el cronograma que tenemos. We, we, um, we have our own schedule for this project and we are in time for the, um, we are on time in our schedule. Mm -hmm. And that means um, about approximately how long we, we, we would have to wait before we see the spanning of this river completed? Well, at present we are in the excavation stage, which as I said before is a more difficult stage because of the, we have about approximately 75,000 kilometers of rock, of, of material to excavate in this, in this type of condition. Entonces después procederemos a, la, a hacer los cimientos de, la, de, la, de las estructuras metálicas. Then we proceed to the, the, the foundation of the metallic structures. That this will be done um, using hydraulic concrete. And below that we do a, a base using superior concrete, mass concrete. The installation of the pipes, the actual installation of the pipes is, um, very, is a lot easier. We have a team who will be in charge of the installation. They have been trained also for the installation of these pipes. So um, taking all this into account, we believe that in, within three months time, we should have completed this project. Si las condiciones del tiempo nos ayudan. That is if the weather permits. Yeah, I know a lot of things depend on the weather out here. And at this time when it's raining, it's quite unpredictable. Yeah, so we can look forward, all things being equal to having the spanning of the Yambu River completed within say another three or so months, give or take, right? Now, you have a young engineer working on the project. I want to chat with him a little bit. Mm. Osric Brown. He is on my st uh, staff. Yes, I know he's your staff. Uh, Osric, I, I understand you were trained in Taiwan. Yes, I was uh, What aspect of engineering were you trained in? Mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering. And you're here as part of the team with Leonardo and Aluko. Exactly what are your responsibilities out here? Well, right now, mostly overseeing the ex excavation works along with um, Conrad Sam. And after that, the installation of the pipes would be under my supervision also. And the, the, the um, applying the anti-corrosive paint and the anti-corrosive treatments. Okay. Now, is this the first project you're working on since you came back from Taiwan? Yeah, pretty much, yes. And how has the experience been so far? Challenging. Challenging, but you're enjoying it? Sometimes. And you're learning a lot? Yes, I am learning a lot from the professor and, and Mr. Dublin. Would you would you exchange this kind of experience for, for anything? No, I wouldn't trade it for anything. It is it's a very um, educating experience. Um, as I said, it's challenging, but it's worth it. Okay. So when this project is all over, you'll be in good stead to move on to other projects, knowing exactly what you're about. Yes, if they would have me anywhere else. 
Well, I'm sure they will. When you leave Argyle, you're ready to take on anything else because out is what you call the ultimate training ground. That is very, that is very true. This is a university in itself, you know. It is better than a university. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so we, we have had the information on the spanning of the river and that is that part of the river that will be flowing under the runway. So you are well up to date now as to what is happening here. And I can tell you, it's a lot of work and they're going at it really, really well.